Yeah, I'd like to just give a quick word of encouragement to everyone out there, all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I'm in Ephesians 6, um, from 10 to 20, where it talks about the armor of God. Okay, most people will think of the armor of God as only six pieces of armor, but if you add prayer in it, it adds up to seven. And prayer is so essential with the armor of God. You don't want to go out there unprepared. You need all the armor, not just a few pieces. Sure, you can go out there with a few pieces, but you're a lot stronger if you have all your armor on. And you don't want to be carrying around a ball and chain attached to your leg when you're wearing your armor of God too. And many people right now are falling into legalism or they're already in it. They're um, getting technical about a lot of the things that are uh, things that will just hang us up. Um, we need to be about what he wants us to do about our business, winning souls. We need to keep our armor on for all the attacks that are coming, even from the own, what most people will say are the brethren, but really they're not because they're hung up with all the legalism and, and different devices that, uh, Satan and his principalities has used to deceive for centuries many of the people. And um, if the gospel that is the gospel of grace and through Jesus Christ being the only way for your salvation, which is correct, but most of the people want to put their rules and regulations on them that you got to do it this way. You got to do water baptism. You got to do this. You will get people so bogged down and so um, kind of disgusted in a way when they're trying to come to God and do what they should be doing and, uh, having all the teachings but yet you give them all these rules and regulations and make the gospel more complicated than that really is you can't do that if you really really want to win those souls with the spirit working through you you can't give them all these nonsense rules and regulations that are coming from man and not God it's not going to work they're going to turn away we're to win souls, not turn them away. The things that are important in the gospel, that's what you need to teach. And you need to be there when they have questions. And if you don't know the answers to those questions, get in the word and find them. Or find someone that does know the answers. We're all at different learning phases. We're all at different levels of our learning and understanding. And I've been doing... So many things for so many years, and I'm still seeing stuff I didn't see before. I was going to church and listening to the sermons, and I was getting it, but the deepest understanding has come more in this last, I would say, probably couple of years than any other time I have ever, ever been walking with the Lord. He has been there my entire life since I was two or three years old. It's the first time I can remember even being in church with my mother. And I sang with my mother at that young age. And it was, <laughs> How Far Is Heaven? That was the song that I sang with her. And even now still, it brings tears to my eyes when I sing it. 
And I even had my children singing it with me too. It was a memory that I'll never ever forget. And even though we weren't in church constantly since that young, young age, because of circumstances that happen and the enemy doing certain things and afflicting my family, uh, I wasn't able to go to church all the time. And um, some of those things caused my mother and father to separate. And um, I lived mostly with my mother, which because of some things that happened to her, had kind of quit going to church. Not that she didn't teach us godly principles and uh, tell us some of the scriptures and things like that as we were growing up. And she used all the moral laws and things like that that are uh, the main basis for doing things right. She struggled with a lot of things and that's it's something if I pray for me to have strength to be able to give my full testimony on exactly what happened in my life over the years I'm now in the latter part of my life I'm past middle age, <laughs> just put it that way. I'm past middle age, but the things that I've been through in my life would probably terrify most people, but God's been there through every single thing in my entire life, and I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him. Because there's many times I wanted to give up. But I didn't. And at my lowest point, every time when I wanted to give up, it wasn't just thinking of what would my family do and what would my children do and everything if I wasn't around, but also thinking, is this really what I should do? Should I really give up? Many times I wanted to, and I tried even a few times, but I didn't give up. I always felt like I had someone there helping me, someone there giving me encouragement, and I do mean on a spiritual level. It was never very much... Um, inspiration and encouragement from a person it was more from the spiritual realm I felt like I felt like Jesus was hugging me and telling me it's gonna be okay I really did and then no matter what you're going through He's always there, even if you don't think that he is, even if you don't hear from him for long periods of time, or you think that you don't matter, you do. You always matter. Every single one of us matter to Jesus. Every one of us. So don't you dare for one moment think that you don't matter because you do. And anybody, no matter what it is that you're going through, most assuredly, there probably is someone going through worse than what you are. Or has made it through that. But only because of Jesus. Only because you had him there for you. 